I studied physics in, um, in college and I've been interested in space since, oh, since I was a very little kid. I got my first telescope when I was 12 and I had such a fun time assembling it. I would go out on very cold nights and um, just kind of see what I could see. To be the first person to go to a place that no human has ever been before is really what I guess drives me and also just the huge potential for learning more about, I guess, our planet, about ourselves, um, about our solar system. If I were to go on this mission, it's kind of understood that I would not start my own family um, and I would not have kids. And for me, that is a, a trade-off I think I'd be willing to make. There is so much that I, I would be gaining and also so much that I would be giving, not to, I guess, my children, but um, just in my interactions with kids in classrooms so far, it's been just amazing to kind of see how interested and how enthusiastic they are about um, the idea of something like this. I don't want to set foot onto a rocket and have it blow up the second we leave Earth or as we're leaving Earth. I want the settlement to be safe. I don't want something to go wrong and to literally be um, seven months away from help at the very minimum. Um, so that, that's definitely a huge concern for me, and I really am counting on them to test the, all of the technologies multiple times before they send the people. Um, and they intend to do that. Um, and they intend to have fully functioning life support units um, on the surface of Mars years in advance of the first humans actually going there. I will definitely be looking for all of that in order to assuage some of my concerns. Getting anything to Mars is expensive, um, and really what it comes down to is weight. I'd love to bring my violin if I could. I'd like to bring a piano too, but I might just settle for one of those rollable keyboards or something. I need a way to paint. That's definitely one of my um, top, uh, top of the list items. I'd love to bring my cat or whatever cat I might have in 10 years. But first of all, I don't think it would really be happy on Mars, and I don't think it would be possible to get it there. But I also really would love to be able to contact everybody back at home, and I th Mars One definitely intends for us to have that ability. If I'm able to send emails and texts and video messages, that would be super. Yeah. Chocolate would be nice too, but I think that might be asking a bit too much. <laughs>